The statewide proposal has been watered down to a pilot program, and no one gets a ticket, just a warning. The bill sponsor says she wanted to tackle a quality of life issue. Traffic noise is loud, annoying, a nuisance really. And if that wasn't bad enough, new medical studies indicate traffic noise raises blood pressure and increases the risk of hypertension. Not surprising to some people. There's no reason for cars to be noisy. There's a device that measures traffic noise as being used in Knoxville, Tennessee to curb it. Senator Pam Beidle introduced legislation to give all Maryland jurisdictions the authority to set up a similar program. So what would happen, one of the, like the really noisy mufflers that you hear, it would hear it and take the picture of the license plate, just like you do with running a red light. But her statehouse colleagues watered it down to a pilot program, and only for Anne Arundel, Montgomery, and Prince George's counties. I think the idea is, because it's new technology, they just want to see how it works. You know, how effective is it? The noise abatement monitoring system produces images and or a video of the rear license plate of the alleged violator. A citation would be mailed to the driver. Under the bill, jurisdictions, if authorized by the State Highway Administration, could use it on local roads or on state highways. Many drivers we talked with are opposed to the idea. I definitely think it's a bit of an overreach on the um, government's hand. I, I think that whenever the government feels like they have the right to control every little thing that people do, um, I think that's a, it's a bit much. It sounds kind of big brother-ish, yeah, absolutely. This is America. Since when can we not have a loud car anymore? A traffic noise violation under current law is a misdemeanor that carries a $500 fine. The bill sponsor says there are not enough officers to enforce it, and this legislation would help fill that gap. Reporting from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.